looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a refer. All right, what's going on, everybody? So I'm going to give you all my review on EA's 2015 press conference. This should be pretty short, relatively short. So they started off, started off with Mass Effect 4, just a little teaser trailer, not really any gameplay. I've never really been a Mass Effect fan, not that the game is bad or anything. I just I played one and two and I just couldn't get into them. I didn't see the hype, you know, it didn't draw me in. So I never even bothered trying to play three because one I tried one and two, I just I just didn't like it. But not a bad game. It's just I, you know I just couldn't see the attraction. So you know, was never really a Mass Effect fan, but I know a lot of people, I recognize that a lot of people love the game. Next, they moved on to Need for Speed. Um, this Need for Speed reboot is kind of like uh, an all-in-one package. They're trying to like combine all the different Needs for Speeds they've had um, because they feel the franchise, you know, needs a reboot from the direction it was going in. So even though I'm not a, y'all know I'm not the biggest racing fan necessarily, um, so it's kind of like the same thing with Mass Effect. Uh, I'm definitely more inclined to buy a racing game like, uh, like Need for Speed than a game like uh, Mass Effect, but they're pretty much in the same boat. Not really, I can't say I'm like a huge fan of them, but I, <clears throat> excuse me, but I recognize uh, there's definitely a following b behind those games and they're decent, they're decent games. Um, Star Wars The Old Republic, they talked a little bit about that. I don't think there's really much to say about that. There's definitely fans behind behind that also. Uh, I've never played, you know, the uh, the old the old Republic games or anything like that, so I can't really comment on their quality. Um, but this announcement, it, it was, I believe, it was more of an expansion um, type of thing. They're bringing new content to to the game. Um, but yeah, that's something else that's not really my cup of tea or not something I'm interested in really um, next was a game that I actually was very interested in I love the concept unravel now I was I was at the EA press conference and you know <laughs> this guy you can see this guy was really passionate like I loved his passion about this game and this concept that he created and you can see he was very nervous because I, I could you know from I was pretty far back because I wanted to get a, a good angle with my camera and I had like really close, uh, really zoomed lens. Um, so I wanted to be pretty, uh, you know, pretty far back so I can get the screen. And even from there, I can tell, not looking, not looking at the screen, looking at him, I can tell he was shaking from all the way at the back of the press conference. So this guy was, he was really nervous and, you know, and that was because I think he's just really passionate about his project and, and his idea. And, uh, you know, I like the concept. It reminded me, it, it's not the most original character, I would say, but the concept is original in my opinion. Um, a lot of people said, oh, it's Yoshi's Woolly World. No, I disagree. Yoshi's Woolly World and whatever other Woolly World Nintendo made, uh, it was about a character made out of yarn, yeah. But the whole, uh, the whole gameplay seems to be, you know, different and the whole story, there seems to be a story aspect around it. So I, I really like the concept of that game. It kind of reminded me of an, a light-hearted Limbo, because you know how Limbo, the platformer, that game is real dark. It's a real dark, black uh, puzzle game. This seems to be like a light-hearted type of puzzle game. Um, so I, I, that's honestly a game I'm definitely looking forward to. Uh, what else did we have? Plans for Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Garden Warfare, the first Garden Warfare, I never got a chance to play it. Um, speak only because because something else came out around that time. Another big game came out around the time of uh, Garden Warfare, so I never got a chance to play it, even though I definitely wanted to. Uh, so uh, yeah, hopefully Garden Warfare 2 comes around a time where I'm able to play it. But yeah, Garden Warfare 2 is definitely something I'm, I'm interested in. Um, I like the game. I like the gameplay for that. Um, then they moved on to their sports section. NHL, PGA, live, not really much to say about that. I'm not really concerned or interested in any of that. <laughs> what, but just to speak on live, their, their section on live, they spoke about this part where they're adding this feature called, you know, well, I don't remember exactly what it was called, but it was pretty much ball release. 
where you can time the release of the ball from the player's hands. I'm like, wait, now I don't play live. You know, I played 2K like years back, but I'm like, wait, didn't 2K have this feature since about 2012, 2011? I swear they did. Um, and I think someone even said that NBA Jam had this feature back in 93. So uh, I don't know. They're, they're late to the game. Nobody buys live. 2K, 2K has got them beat every single year. Um, like I said, skip it on the NHL, PGA stuff. Uh, NFL, they, the, the highlight of NFL that's gonna, the NFL game that's going to be coming up, um, with the Madden game that's going to be coming up this year is you, can, uh, you have the choice to choose what type of catch you, uh, the receiver does. When I don't, I'm not really impressed by that simply because every year Madden adds features and takes away features. I can almost guarantee you She'll wait till the plane passes. That's, you know, that's why Madden takes one step forward and two step steps back every year because it adds these features, but the, those features aren't in the next game. So it's like, what's the point? It's like making a brand new game and you're stripping everything, even the stuff that works you strip those features and it's gone. So I can, I can almost bet that feature is not even going to be, that feature is not even almost, gonna, probably not going to be there next year. Next, they talked about the Minions uh, phone game. Yeah, we're not really going to talk about that. I, I like the Minions, you know, the movies, Despicable Me, they're cool and everything, but obviously we don't care about that gaming wise. Uh, what else did we have here? Um, Pele came out on stage, you know, of course I respect the man, but I, you know, not interested in seeing an interview with anybody on stage. Uh, FIFA, you know, I've never really given FIFA a chance just because, you know, so many other games usually come in uh, in between me and FIFA that I have to cover that I don't really have. To, I've never really had time to play it and put that much time. Next, uh, they moved on to Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Mirror's Edge Catalyst is the uh, origin story for Faith. And I'm definitely looking forward to this game. I love the original uh, Mirror's Edge. There's not many games like Mirror's Edge, so it's like the only type of, uh, you know, it's not the only type of parkour game, but um, it's the only parkour game we get, you know, in first person that gets that, gets that in depth with the parkour elements and mechanics. So, um, you know, love Mirror's Edge. I think it's long overdue, so I'm definitely looking forward to Catalyst. Uh, and lastly, the main events that most people are looking forward to, Star Wars Battlefront. I actually got a chance to play Battlefront, and uh, I can actually tell you that, see, I didn't get to play that snow level. The demo wasn't of the snow level, it was of this uh, more desert environment. And the game looks good to be in pre-alpha. It, it definitely looks good to be in, no, was it, I can't remember if it was alpha or pre-alpha, but I played it, you know, I did the thing, I, it was a co-op mission where you had to defeat wave after wave, like a horde mission. Um, you know, I, I was able to switch from first person to third person anytime you want. I definitely prefer third person. Uh, and that was actually challenging. Um, it was challenging, it was fun. Uh, game, gameplay solid, gra graphics are good. And uh, yeah, it was it was a treat. I think that I'm gonna enjoy that game a lot. I'm gonna enjoy it a lot. Of course, you know, it was an alpha, so the frame rate was kinda, you know, choppy, but that's to be expected. So uh, yeah, the EA conference, I can't say it was very thrilling. Um, it was pretty uh, below average, I would say, because the only games that I really cared about that I really think are, is relevant is uh, Mirror's Edge, um, uh, Battle, Battlefront, and uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, and Unravel. So yeah, everything else, not really, not something I really care for. But yeah, I would say it was below average. It wasn't terrible. You know, so yeah, that's my review on it. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.